Hi everybody. So last week we got a comment and a question about um, the tubes. So a lady asked what causes blocked tubes. So that's what we'll be tackling today. This is Dr. Wenjiro and you're watching Footsteps to Fertility. So what are the tubes? First, let's start there. Every woman has two tubes and these are the tubes. There's a left and a right one. And the main function of the tube is to be the conduit or the passage for the egg to pass through the tube, reach over here for fertilization to occur. So it's also the place where fertilization occurs. And after fertilization has occurred for the embryo to move down into the uterus. So the tube is extremely important. For fertility, we need patent tubes or open tubes so that they can collect the egg and have the whole passage go through. In our setup, we're seeing a lot of tubal blockage and we attribute about 70% of patients who are undergoing um, infertility to having tubal blockage. So that's a huge number and it's more common in sub-Saharan Africa. The most common cause of tubal blockage is unfortunately sexually transmitted diseases. So we have chlamydia and we have gonorrhea and that's the number one. Unfortunately these diseases are so silent so people don't actually know that they have them. A lot of people will not have any sign of chlamydia and gonorrhea. Some women will have a little discharge that most often is confused for candidiasis or something that's normal. You don't have pain, you don't have any, anything really. In, in some cases where chlamydia and gonorrhea are very, very extensive, you can have a yellow pussy discharge from the cervix. You can have a lot of lower abdominal pain or you could have fevers. And these are other signs, but to be honest, most women will have no sign at all. For men, it's a bit easier to pick up. Men who have chlamydia, gonorrhea, usually have a burning sensation when they urinate. They could have a yellow, pussy kind of looking discharge also from the urethra. And a lot, they could have fever and swollen lymph nodes. So men, please be, watch out for these signs. And if you do get it, please tell your girlfriends or your wives or your partners because it's really important for our fertility to get these diseases early. The good thing about chlamydia and gonorrhea is when we do get them, if we take antibiotics early, they rarely affect our systems, rarely go up into the tubes and rarely cause any um, eventual harm to the tubes. So it's important to know your body. So it's important for young people to guard their fertility Abstinence is obviously the best, but if you can't, please use a condom. It does not only um, save you from HIV and pregnancy, but these diseases that can affect your future fertility, both for men and for women, by the way. So the second thing that can cause tubal blockage is something that we call endometriosis, which we have discussed in an earlier video. If we have little endometrial implants in the tube, then they will scar the tubes and therefore the tubes, the eggs won't be able to come through and neither will the sperm be able to come through. So that's another cause of blocked tubes. Another cause of blocked tubes that we're seeing quite often in our setup is TB. We are not sure how TB is going into the abdomen, but we're seeing a lot of patients who have unexplained infertility, and yet when we go in, we find that there are little implants of TB all along their abdomen. So what TB actually does is that it could form something we call adhesions, which are little flimsy films that catch the tube and don't allow it to be as mobile as it should be. And if the tube is not mobile, then it won't be able to come down and pick the egg. So that's another cause, TB. And women, it's really important that when you ask your doctor to have a BTL, which is a tubal ligation, that you're actually sure that you want it and you do not have any need for any other children. What a bilateral tubal ligation does is we cut off the tube on this side and on this side. So we block your tubes as doctors. So if you are not sure, please don't have a tubal ligation because it's 
terribly difficult to reverse. So ladies, if you suspect that your tubes are blocked and are struggling to conceive, please see a fertility specialist because there are ways in which we can determine whether the tubes are blocked and there are solutions. Hope is not lost. For the lady who asked the question about blocked tubes, I hope we've answered you. And if we haven't adequately, please feel free to continue to ask us. We shall not get tired. So if you have a friend who you feel would benefit from this information, please share. If you have any questions, please ask. Please feel free to comment and uh, we will get back to you. This is Dr. Wanjiro and you're watching Footsteps to Fertility, where we walk with you. Thank you.